Okay, good evening, everyone. My name is Tandy McBride. I'm a leader here with The Body Shop at Home in the USA, welcoming my USA and Canada team as we do a quick overview of Facebook business pages. This meeting is recorded and we'll save it to the team channel to watch later. If you have questions, you feel free to ask each other in the chat, but we will at the end come back to questions. Uh, thank you again for being here. If I could just ask everyone to have their um, mics muted, please. First of all, we'll go over what is a business page, how to set up a business page, how to name your business page specifically for our body shop businesses, how to create a customized URL that you can put on a business card or easily send someone uh, to send them directly to your business page, how to set a target audience and why, setting up the m.me messenger, as well as the auto response and scheduling posts, um, either individually through Facebook or also simultaneously through your Instagram, as well as some content ideas at the end. Letting a few more people in here. Okay, so first of all, what is the difference between a personal profile, your business page, and a closed group? Your personal profile is you. That's who you are on Facebook. When you log in, check your messages, communicate with your friends and family, you are you. It's important to remember that people that you're doing business with in social selling days are going to look at you. So keep in mind, whatever you post, people will possibly see it whether you have a, a, everything closed down or not, uh, you may be friends with them or things could be shared. So always remember that you are on stage and presenting your best self. Uh, your business page is your storefront or your billboard. I sometimes call it your yellow pages, but for this visual, I put a picture up of an actual billboard over the top of a shop. Your closed group would be that boutique or the community for your VIPs inside. That's where you welcome them in. And I'm going to go through this part in detail. A lot of people use the terms interchangeably, page and group. Oh, go to my team page. It's important to know um, the differences because there are things that you can and cannot do on the different platforms. So the features and benefits of each of your Facebook profiles, pages, and groups. This is a helpful breakdown if you're not familiar with the differences. First of all, your profile, you're inviting your friends. Pages, you invite likes and followers, and groups, you're inviting members. But let me deep dive into each one. Your profile, it really is personal and individual to you. It's, it's you again on, on Facebook. Businesses are not allowed to have a personal profile. Facebook actually frowns on doing a lot of businessy type posts on a personal profile and tends to bury those where your audience is not even seeing them. So with your profile, you're inviting and nurturing your friendships. Again, you don't have to think of it in a business sense, just be yourself and use your business profile as yourself. The main thing is that you don't spam it with a lot of business posts. Um, again, only your friends can view your profile unless you've set a post to uh, global or public. There's no advertising options on a, pace, a Facebook profile, um, and profiles have the ability to create pages and groups. Again, this topic today is about pages, but let me distinguish between pages and groups a little further. Your Facebook page, your Facebook business page, is your official presence for your business. Uh, we, some of us may be celebrities or think of ourselves as celebrities, especially if you're, uh, you have a lot of followers that you're maybe bringing from another um, business or, or your network, then you may be uh, an influencer. So again, your business page is to represent you as the celebrity, you as the influencer, you as your business. The admin functionality of your business page can be shared. Uh, you can assign a business partner or an um, assistant, someone to come in and to help you do settings or to help you do posts, for example. The idea on page is that you're gaining likes. There's a lot of ways that you can do that. Anybody can view your business page and then like your business page. You don't have to know them. 
No one needs the, your permission. Uh, you don't need their permission, vice versa, for them to like your page. Now, deep down, if there's someone that you want to not have on your page, you certainly can um, restrict certain individuals, but in general, it's out there in the open. Okay. The huge part about pages is that advertising is allowed. In fact, that's where Facebook brings their revenue. They, they encourage you to boost posts and to do advertising on your business page. Um, again, you can pay to promote those posts. Now, a group, I'll touch on it a little bit, but we're not going into it deep today. Um, your group would be, in this business, would be your VIP group, for example. Uh, but in general, groups on Facebook are discussion groups, forums, or communities. For example, we have our team groups um, where we do trainings and connect and share with you um, information. Okay. Uh, businesses can have groups. You can share ads into groups, you can promote in a group, uh, but you can't actually pay to boost anything inside of a group. That happens on the business page itself. Again, in a group, you can invite uh, people, um, you can invite profiles. I prefer not to have profiles in my groups because that tends to uh, promote their other business. Um, you can have those settings and we'll do that on another day. And again, someone in your group, you don't have to be friends with them um, for them to be a member of your group, okay? And again, we can go into those settings on another day. I'm just letting a few more people in here. Now, how to set up a business page. You, if you're watching this on replay, you can pause it and copy, write down the link. Um, the easy way to remember is just facebook.com slash pages slash create. Now, I asterisk everything here because I actually did a business page training last year and it's all changed since then. Surprise, surprise, Facebook does um, change and constantly improve things, uh, but this data may be inaccurate in you know, a month or a year from now. But for now, write down that facebook.com slash pages create. And rather than screen sharing and going through the process of creating a business page, I have a screenshot here of the first thing you'll see when you do put in that address, okay? And then we'll go through some of the settings and best practices for our business on the next slides. But on this basic page, you're going to want to name your page. Okay, we'll talk about that in a minute. You'll put your category. I, I picked a few. I think one of mine is um, skincare, makeup, um, retail shopping. You just kind of cruise through and find something that uh, resonates with you for your business page. Because of course, Facebook, Tra tracks all of this data and they want to serve up to the people who are most likely to see your business page, who want to see it. And then your description. Um, of course, if you're an independent consultant, you always want to state that uh, your business, the main thing with your business page is that you're not trying to look like you are the company that you represent. Okay. And then once you click through some of the next screens, uh, there'll be more settings, but let's touch on the naming of your business page specifically for our business. Now, the main thing is that it has your full name, okay? The Body Shop at Home Independent Consultant. You can mix up the order of those, but let me tell you, that's a mouthful. And depending on the screen size, you might not see all of those words. So I recommend, and our team recommends that you put your name first, that way it's always seen. Because if you're scrolling through and you see um, other Body Shop at Home pages and you can't see your name because it's hidden, then you might be looked over. So first name, last name, the Body Shop at Home Independent Consultant should be the name of your business page. Now, if you are part of our pre-launch team, uh, our next country we're launching, of course, is Canada, Ireland after that, and many more countries in the next um, year or so. If you've not yet officially enrolled, and that means ordering your starter kit and signing the contract with the company, then you are technically not a consultant yet. We would recommend, and we have uh, the blessing from the corporate that you can put future independent consultant. So in other words, your mouthful of a business name would be your first name, last name, the body shop at home, future independent consultant, or those terms mixed in a different order. But again, your name up front is best for you. Now, a little marketing tip, the, to customize your, your URL so that it's not facebook.com slash a whole bunch of numbers that you can't remember, go to your page, page settings, page info, 
and then username. And you can uh, update your username there. You don't have to put the word future in that username because you're gonna start to promote and advertise that link. And you don't wanna have dead links that don't work anymore when you do go and change that. So your username could be as short as um, TBSAH Tandy, or it could be the body shop at home, Tandy McBride. Um, that will be when you see the at symbol for your business name, that's what would be um, something you could print on a business card, for example, or just drop into a uh, messenger to someone. You can also target, set up your target audience in your business page. Now, this is not to be confused with targeting an advertisement. This is simply which countries can and cannot even see your web, your business page. We currently are doing business in the UK, Australia, and the USA. We are pre-launching in Canada and Ireland. So you could have those five countries shown your Facebook business page shown in those markets. Again, this is not boosting, this is simply who can see it. What that means is if you've only allowed, and again, you go to settings, general country restrictions, and then you select the countries that you do want to show, um, or vice versa, you could simply say which countries you don't want to show. So make sure you're looking at that setting carefully. Um, the key here is that once we do go global uh, beyond opening Canada and, and Ireland. We're all on our new software system, which is coming this summer. Corporate has said in 2022, their goal is to quickly roll out new markets. So you just want to know where those settings are and make sure you're showing your page to any market that we are in. Okay. Now, the messenger settings. If you've ever seen an m.me link, that is your Facebook messenger link. You first want to allow it to be, you want to turn it on. Okay. So in your settings on your business page, go to general and then messages. And then there's a longer blurb, but essentially it says to allow contact. Okay. And if there's any questions with these after the fact, you can ask in the group or message will help you out, but that should help you to find where to turn on to allow messenger. Now, if you've gone through that step of authorizing it and you set your custom URL, as we talked about previously, your messenger URL would automatically then be m.me slash whatever that um, TBSH Tandy, whatever you set previously. Now you can use your messenger link off of Facebook, which is really cool. So you can print it on a flyer, you can send it in an email or text message. That messenger link would direct people not just to your business page, but literally into your Facebook business page messenger. Okay. And there's some power there because if you have a business partner, you both can share the messenger and take turns responding to people. Um, the messenger has a lot of, the business page messenger has a lot of features where you can label and tag and mark birthdays and um, make personal notes. And you know it's, it's a lot more business related, kind of more like a CRM than an actual just personal messenger. Okay, so very important to have that and to be able to navigate. The most powerful part of the messenger is actually the automated responses. Now, if you're still in the settings, um, you can tinker around until you find it or save this URL that is business.facebook.com. Actually, if you just have that much business.facebook.com you're going to see the portal of all the things business for Facebook. It's a very good link to have uh, tabbed on your computer at all times. Uh, so when you go there, you'll look for the inbox. I'll go to my next screen for that. The uh, inbox, and then you'll click on this little atomic symbol. And you probably can't see my mouse on the screen, so <laughs> the atomic symbol. And then the um, automated responses, frequently asked questions. Now, I wouldn't set any more than three or four frequently asked questions, but the really cool thing with this is it's an on-demand information for anyone that comes to your business page. So for example, on my business page, I have four frequently asked questions set up right now. I have a host a virtual party, opportunity info, shop for a cause, make an appointment. 
whatever kind of makes sense to you. These are all customizable. But the really cool thing is, despite time zones or despite your busy schedule, you might be at work or with kids or doing any other thing, anyone who comes to your business page can ask a question and get instant response. So for example, on my business page, I have opportunity info as one of the questions. When you click on that, the viewer would have um, basically a templated script that comes right up and says, hey, you can even put their name automatically. Hey, here's some quick info and here's a brochure. Let me know if I can help you. And the great thing is they've clicked and they might not actually contact you further, but you know that they clicked and you know that they're interested. So you have someone that you can reach out to and follow up with versus if they just perused your business page and not clicked on anything, you wouldn't have even known that they were there. So set up your frequently asked questions. Okay. Now, scheduling posts. This is one of the coolest things about social media. You don't have to be there all day, every day. And I, I hope that you're not. Please take time and unplug. But the cool thing is, once a week or however often, you can sit down and schedule out posts on your social media. Okay. A great link to remember, again, just the business.facebook.com link, but if you go to business.facebook.com slash creator studio, there's a whole suite of tools that you can schedule uh, photos or videos or text um, in advance. And I'd recommend that you sit down once a week and, and do that. Okay. Now, also use relevant hashtags. You never know when someone's going to find you just by surfing hashtags. It also helps to add a little bit of uh, context to your post. And there's often corporate will do contests or conventions. We have common ha hashtags that we, we use um, and then we can kind of surf through and be more connected because you're all following that, that hashtag. Again, an 80-20 rule is a really good rule of thumb for what to post. You don't want to be too spammy just posting business, business, business. People will just tune out and not, not pay attention. If you can focus on 80% community building and 20% selling, you're going to have a lot more luck in social selling. Okay, and We'll talk about a few things that, that ideas to post and whatnot after as well. Now, if you have an Instagram account, you can actually have your Facebook business page synced so that every time you post on one, it syncs to the other. And to do that first in Instagram, go to your settings um, and then click on Instagram. And I think I left out part of the instruction, but you'll want to sync up your Facebook business page, authorize it from that end. And then in your business page, do the same thing. Go to settings, page settings, page info, other accounts. And then you can literally type in the um, at name for your Instagram account and those will be synced together. You can also allow messaging um, to go between the two platforms as well. Okay. So some content ideas. We have approved product assets and different cause assets and company assets, um, corporate calls them tiles. We have a lot of those posted in our pre-launch group and you're welcome to use those. If you're already onboarded, we have in our team groups as well, uh, assets for each market. Um, as we move forward, there will be different content for each market because not every product is available in every market due to regulations of that market. The labeling might be different, the pricing would be different uh, the promotions would be different. So again, as we move forward, we'll have a different team group for, for each country, for each market. Okay. Now we've been putting together some great videos from the team, um, putting them on our team YouTube channel. You can find that through our team website, joyfulcollective.com. You're welcome to use any of those videos on your business page um, or even your VIP group as well, if you want some content. Some of them are um, from corporate, talking about the community fair trade, talking about saving the rhinos, talking about our, um, our shea, shea butter collective and lots of wonderful things. So as well as our team, and I um, hope to continue to build a library of videos, our team gets together and does uh, kind of product overviews and how-tos. So all of that is for all of us to share, okay? 
as well as our blog posts. We're uh, putting together some great content and that's all shareable amongst you guys. Okay. Now, interactive posts are always a good idea so that you can get the algorithms up, this or that post, which do you like better, this or that. Um, games, we've posted some of the game tiles in the various groups as well, but keep it fun. Behind the scenes are very interesting. People love to watch people. They like to see, you know, how did you set up your office? Or, oh, what came in that new box? Or what do you just do from day to day? what do you have for breakfast? The more uh, personal stuff you may end up keeping in your VIP group where you're really nurturing that relationship, but sprinkling in some of your personality, certainly, and not just using stock photos on your business page can also be a great content. And of course, you, 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 you using the products, you sharing your story. It's all about storytelling and then utilizing your business page to invite people over to your VIP group. You might just sprinkle in posts saying, hey, on Friday night, we're going live with uh, a sale or we're doing a body butter bingo or whatever it is, but you can invite people from your business page. Again, that's your storefront, the banner above your store, into your store, into your clubhouse, where you really can get to know each other. And I'll turn off the recording. We can ask some questions and chit chat for a little bit. I didn't want to go too late with this presentation, but thank you again for tuning in tonight.